recreate the movement that we see of the trail foot kind of gliding in towards this lead heel. Mm -hmm. But we see players like JT and many others are almost off their feet. All right, SG, so what I was just trying to show then, probably a very poor representation and certainly world ranking, was my interpretation of Scotty Scheffler's footwork, right? Scheffler shuffle? Yeah, exactly. And I was trying to get the similar or recreate the movement that we see of the trail foot kind of gliding in towards this lead heel. Yep. And then obviously finishes a lot better and wins mm -hmm. majors, but for me, maybe not so much, mm -hmm. right? Now, we see a lot of players, they're not trying to do too much with their feet. And they think that kind of moving around is not a good thing, mm -hmm. but we see players like JT and many others are almost off their feet sure. through impact, right? And that is essentially a huge exertion of power and force into the golf ball. And with Scotties, you get a lot of amateur golfers kind of look at that and they go, oh, wow, that's like really funky. But yeah, it's different. Yeah. Talk to us why that actually assists him in being the world number one golfer. Well, it's interesting what you said first about like JT and some other golfers, because we do see some very different footwork, like not all of it's the same. And like you said, it's it really how they apply force into the ground, how they move laterally versus, versus downwards. And that creates sometimes some very different looking right leg actions and even left foot actions for that matter. But in Scheffler's case, we see this, this pretty strong lateral move, which is just really a, a forward movement of the hips. There's obviously a lot of force still going down, there's rotation in there. But in his case, there's a lot of lateral move, which pulls the left hip more forward than maybe some other players we see and eventually he can really drag his right side up and through. So I would say he's using his left side initially to get some force going forward as he's rotating. And then this right femur, if you like, this right thigh really kicks up and through to the point where we see this really extreme like slide, almost on a diagonal. His feet get really close together, which is really quite crazy to see. But, you know, I was watching uh, a recent video of his training in the gym and it's interesting how he uses sliders and and how he trains some of this mobility and dynamics in his lower body let's say there's an amateur golfer and they have the opposite pattern to scotty mm -hmm. what would that look like and then let's say the drill that we're going to explore today which would assist that player yep. in hitting the golf ball better so sure what would they look like so they're going to look more like someone let's say they're in a fairly optimal backswing position so they have you know, the weight sort of inside the right uh, leg here, upper body's turned pretty nicely back. And they might get into a position where coming down, they, they really have no lateral shift. So they might even be turning back off the right leg, no pressure forward and falling back this way. And they, they may even be spinning back, which is the opposite of kind of gliding forward. So it's kind of the opposite of like getting through the ball, right? Yeah. <laughs> the player is not getting through the ball and we see Scotty really, if anything, if most amateurs were trying to perform that, they would fall forward. Correct. If we're going to fall in any direction in the golf swing, I'd much rather my players fall forward any day of the week than backwards. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So with this little uh, setup that we've got here, we've got a band and a foot slide, mm -hmm. kind of run me through, through the exercise. You get a player who's not getting through the ball uh, to work on. So let's look at both sides. Let's start with the lead side first, trying to get what we might do to get a more excessive feel of moving the lead side forward. Okay, so if I take the bands here, okay, so what I might do for a player, without you really making a backswing, I'm gonna to get to a point where you can start to feel a little bit of pulling. So tell me when you can start to feel that. Maybe, yeah, it's the perfect amount of resistance there. Yeah. Okay, and if I just said to you, without making a, a backswing, just push the hips forward, and as we do that, I'm gonna resist you pushing forward and we'll do that again we'll do that like three times mm -hmm. so i'm going to pull you're going to push so we're doing a <laughs> bit of a reverse resistance exercise where you're going against my force now that's a really good feel for someone who's on the back foot even though i'm moving you in one direction you're trying to go the opposite that's going to let's say x times 10 the feeling than if you just tried to do it on your own and it's very interesting just doing that i've never done this before so i wasn't quite sure of what to expect is as i feel like i'm pushing forward just naturally from this, I can feel that this left knee wants to open up. I want to feel that my pressure shifts to the outstep of my lead side. I want to feel like the lead hip moves up and around. And I almost feel like I want to break through and get really through the ball. Great. So that's a really good left side feel. Okay. Love now, that. now for the fun part, we'll yeah. do the Scheffler one. Okay. Okay. So this is a right side feel. I'm going to place this up on the inside of the right, right leg. We'll keep it on there. And we're actually going to get the slider. And you're going to set the right foot right on that. Just pretty much directly underneath? Yep. 
Okay. And let's widen the base a little bit and, and open the right foot. So a good, a good checkpoint for the slide is going to be actually right where the shaft is. Mm -hmm. And this time, all you're going to do is, as I pull, you're going to drive that right thigh up to the, let's say, up to the shaft line. Very good. Just doing that. And as you do that a few more times, you're going to feel me apply a bit of resistance. So you have to really work that right side. Yeah, and it just adds to that first initial feeling of the only way I can get it there, right, is not through dragging the lower body. It's not through moving the upper body. It's through the feeling of pushing off the Beautiful. left yep. to then allow my pelvis to extend the lead hip to move up and around. And we can see that we start to get this kind of Tiger Woods banking look to the Absolutely. foot, right? And as it comes through and it applies now, all of a sudden I've got such a greater awareness, even if we were to take that out and I've got that freedom, oh God, it feels great. You can see I almost just fell forward then. And I was experimenting with this with one of my students yesterday. He's a good player, single figure handicap. And he was just having trouble feeling his right side firing through. And we did this very same exercise and he does a really good job of getting down into his left side, creating some rotation and then just kind of gets stuck through the ball sort of goes in this way. And as I got him to really fire this right side up and through, not only did his impact condition increase, but he picked up about four miles an hour just with his three wood. Mm. So that can be a mechanism for adding force or a nice bit of thrust through the ball. Mm. And for a lot of players who have been hanging back and not getting through the ball, they probably would have never felt this before. Absolutely. Right. Okay, so applying this to now a shot off the grass. Now, if an amateur was doing this, I would say probably do it off a mat first, guys, mainly because you get a little bit of room for error in regards to contact, but I'll try my luck off the grass and see how we go. Pretty slippery. <laughs> yeah, slippery. And the objective here, mate, so normal setup, mm -hmm. yeah? Trying yep. to flare the right foot out a little bit more. Absolutely. And then should I just do a couple of slow rehearsals like this? Yep. Now, with the follow through, where should I finish? Is it so just out in front? Yeah, you're going to be. Before I lose my balance. Yeah, you're going to be a bit restricted with the lower body for sure, but you can just let your upper body chase a little bit more. I mean, eventually you'll come a little bit off that. Yeah. Okay. If we were just to trying to create the feeling, you can stay on it, which is absolutely going to shorten the finish. But but obviously we're going to let things continue through as we go to a fuller finish. I think uh, intuitively, mm. what I was trying to do then was try like hold on to it. There's too much tension. Gotcha. So I think that's an important note that if players try this, mm -hmm. just make sure you're a lot more relaxed, right? Yep. Breathing important for life in the golf swing. Mm -hmm. So then as we do that, pushing through, body's a lot more relaxed. Mm -hmm. And then when I hit this shot, what am I doing? Little half speed. This is tough to do at full speed. It's easy to lose your balance off that. So you could do some halfsies just to get the foot working. And then I'll just literally take it off after you've done a few of those and then really let that thing fire through aggressively, like start to use your own force, not the slider. So we'll do a little one first. Mm -hmm. So we can see right legs moved a lot more towards the left. Arms are nice and soft. Pelvis is very forward. I'm certainly mm -hmm. not hanging back. Anything yep. you'd see from what we just experienced there through that golf ball? Anything yep. you'd add? What could I improve? Again, doing a few of those is fine. You don't need to improve anything mm -hmm. else. What I do is I then take or do a few with the slider off. So that's going to allow this thing to fire up and through. The slider really just gives a feeling of, of having this foot drag. Yep having it grab, but ultimately you want to try and create that force yourself. Yeah, okay, okay, great. Now, should I try and drag my foot once I move the slider? Absolutely, I'd say activate this, get it pushing, and naturally you're gonna see that foot start to glide through. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's such a different feel. Mm -hmm. All right, little one again. Yeah, that's great. So I can definitely feel that trail leg has moved in, kind of midline of the stance, yep. slid across. So let's do one more rehearsal of that. And if I'm hitting a full shot after I've done that, then I just let it release at the top. Absolutely. And maybe to not exaggerate it too much, you don't have to get the foot sort of behind the heel. You can keep it a little bit more, say at the ball of your foot there, and that will allow your hips to keep turning up and through. Yep. Yeah, okay, beautiful. Let's hit one, off we go. That was nice. Yeah, a little more free that time. Yeah, a lot more free. For me, a big key there was to make sure that my body was relaxed as I was doing so. But that's a very different sensation for even someone like myself who hits golf balls nearly every day. And I just, to be honest, like that was the most compressed shot I've hit today. Right, that looked nice. Love it.